Randy Light. And Randy, where are you from? Ivan Dunes, Indiana. Wonderful. And what brought you here for hypnosis? Well, I am a stu I'm the first student in the state, at the first school in the state, and so when I started, um, Tim wanted me to feel what it was like to be in hypnosis. Mm -hmm. and so you came to the Hypnotism Academy of Indiana Absolutely. to become a hypnotist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting at our first state-approved school in a very long time. All right, very good. And what was your experience with the hypnosis? Well, it was incredible. I, I, I wanted to be hypnotized and to know what it was like, but I had this incredible experience from it. Um, my neck had been a mess uh, for 10 months. Mm -hmm. I every morning I'd wake up and it would be worse instead of better and it would get a little bit loose throughout the day and every time I went to the chiropractor which is like once a week he would have to um, do different things with my neck but you know one of my uh, vertebrae was always out mm -hmm. for 10 months this went on so I just wow. assumed I had uh, arthritis and it wouldn't stay in so every time I went to the chiropractor which was like once a week he would have to put it back in and then I'd go back another week later and he'd have to you know so it would never stay in was there a lot of pain and discomfort yes. pa pain and discomfort really uh, um, you know when I was sleeping and then in the morning and then it would loosen up in the day and then mm -hmm. if I did anything to aggravate it, if I bent my you know look down or whatever it would easily aggravate and it would get inflamed wow. and it went on and on so mm -hmm. um, it was really frustrating um, I've had neck problems you know for the last 20 years but this was like every day so this yeah. is a constant experience so yeah. I just assumed I had arthritis and that was that so um, when I was in hypnosis and you were you know telling my, my muscles to relax and uh, that healing soothing energy i just decided to keep bathing that energy that healing soothing energy right here and it relaxed my muscles so much i remember when i started school and i was doing a lot of reading it was so painful mm -hmm. you know because i was looking like this and that aggravates it mm -hmm. uh, so i kept bathing myself now during the hypnosis session i remember it still hurt mm -hmm. but i still you know that's what i kept focusing on and then somewhere i don't know if it was that day or the next morning i woke up i didn't have any more pain in my neck first time in 10 months wow the next day did not have any pain the next day did not have any pain i was like oh my god i gotta tell someone so i remember coming in here telling everyone i started telling everyone home well i had i have a hip problem so i had to go to the chiropractor about a week after this that was the first time in 10 months that c1 was not out First in your time. neck. In my neck. Okay. First time in ten, ten months, months that ver it hadn't popped out. It, um, amazing. For, wow. And stayed in since then, so it's been four months. So for four months, it's been stayed in and no pain. Right. I mean, you know, there was once or twice where it it, it got a little, little bit, but didn't go out. It always mm -hmm. it's it like healed itself. Wow. Through hypnosis. I mean, it blows my mind. That amazes me. But that's wow. the power of hypnosis. And how many sessions did that take? Uh, one. One. <laughs> one. That we, we weren't even concentrating on that, you know? Yeah, that just happened naturally. Yeah, that just happened naturally. It was my subconscious. So my subconscious mind figured out a way to heal myself and did it, you know? Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So would you recommend this uh, hypnosis to people that are in pain? <laughs> uh, yeah. Or that tell you that they have... Um, arthritis or they have chronic problems very much as though it sometimes people will say I have this and I have that as though it's a life sentence right now what do you have to say about that well yeah I I think diagnoses are helpful mm -hmm. but when people but then people think that they have this thing and that they have to have this thing yeah. but with hypnosis you understand I mean your subconscious mind can help you heal this thing and help reduce pain to almost non-existent or gone but actually fix the problem so you you know where a diagnosis is nice to know but you people need to understand that that does not mean that they have to have the pain or the problem any longer that they can actually get rid of it you know that it can go away it can heal it can get better period the end it did for you it did for me outstanding down. wow that's great um, did you find, uh, did we have other, any other goals that, um, that we worked on for you that uh, popped into mind? Well, I remember I, when I was uh, shadowing you and mm -hmm. you were working, doing the Godiva method with a client. Mm -hmm. And so I, it was right after Christmas and every day I had just had to have my chocolate. I didn't mm -hmm. eat a lot of it, 
but it controlled me instead of me controlling it. And I wanted my little treat, you know, because yeah. my son likes to have his treat, so then I wanted a little treat. Yes. Never ate like four or five big things or anything like that ever, but I had to have it every day. And this one, this one probably went on for a year, but it got really intense with all that chocolate around the house. And so I was like, I am so sick of that, you know, white bleach stuff, you know, controlling me. And um, so you were doing this technique, the Godiva method, this neuro-linguistical programming technique, this NLP technique, which is so powerful. So I did it, even though you were, you were working with the client, I just visualized the same things that, you know, you were suggesting for her to visualize, but I did chocolate and, and moved my chocolate file, you know, my yummy file over to the yucky file, and <laughs> that was it. I just, the next day, I just had no desire to eat any chocolate, just didn't. Uh, the next day, I just didn't, you know, I could have had it, I could have, you know, but I didn't really want it, so I didn't eat it, it was the most bizarre thing, that went on for a week, and after a week, you know, I decided, well, I, you know, my, you know, will wanted a piece, so I gave myself a little piece, another week went by, didn't want it, for the whole week, just nothing, I had another little piece, you know, or if something came up where we had s'mores, you know, we had a fire, mm -hmm. and we, you know, another week went by, and I was like, you know, well, I'll have somebody, it didn't, like, have this incredible taste or whatever, it tasted fine, but um, it didn't taste gross either, Just, mm -hmm. but I just no longer was controlled by the chocolate, it was awesome. So, so you were in control. I was in control, still am, I, I, I still, I'll eat it once in a while, no big deal, it's just not in control of my life, I eat it when I feel like it and I don't eat it when I don't feel like it. Wow. It's fantastic. Two completely different things, okay. getting away from chocolate and then, you know, pretty much healing your neck. Healing. Yeah, so if there was somebody that was listening to this right now in the office um, and they're a little bit skeptical or a little bit nervous about hypnosis, what would you tell them? What do you want them to know? Well, I didn't, you know, when I first started on this journey, you know, I went to another uh, school uh, first. and Another hypnosis and school? Another hypnosis school, mm -hmm. and then, but I really wanted to get the training with the Hypnotism Academy of Indiana and shadow and get a really good internship behind me. and. Um, so, but I didn't think I could be hypnotized, you know, I'm very analytical, and so, and then I'm a student on top of it, so I was extremely analytical, because I'm analyzing everything that's happening, so I always was one of those people who did not think you could be hypnotized, and well, of course, you know, anybody can be hypnotized, almost anybody with a, you know, above 70 IQ that wants to be hypnotized can be hypnotized. Mm -hmm. And I uh, have had the experiences with your clients and myself, and anybody can be hypnotized if you have those characteristics if you want to be. And it's, it is, it's so wonderful, it is so powerful, it is so healing, I, it is great to have it as a tool in my life mm -hmm. for me, and then I can help others help themselves in so many ways. 